let's talk about how I added this shark to the scene really fast. The diver here kind of on his own layer. I've got the shark and I've got this original footage layer. On the original footage layer, I've used Spot Clone Tracker to track a little spot right here that I've got this null there and the shark is then parented to that null so that the shark moves with the camera in this scene. Right, let's select all of our layers and we'll go effect, red giant VFX, super comp. Now I'll use my quick trick to make the shark um, look like he's over this area depth wise by going to the color correction effect and hitting match background while he's down there. And that'll match his black levels and white levels and we don't need that part of the animation there. So we'll pop him back up where he goes. Now it looks already a lot better. Uh, we're gonna do a quick little edge blend, maybe about five to kind of haze his edge a bit there. And then we are going to use the main thing here, which is haze. We're gonna crank it at the beginning to like 100 on the haze amount and it'll be barely visible there, just a little touch there on the side. But the important step here is that we're gonna say, hey, for this amount, we want to enable keyframing for it. Then down here, and our comp will say, yeah, about half a second in, we won't be able to see him. Then right towards the end, we'll go to, I don't know, about 68 or so. Ease in to that by hitting Shift F9 and then Control Shift F9 to kind of ease out of our beginning. That's basically it. Then all I did was add a bit of uh, extra bars there on the top and bottom with a shape layer and After Effects and an adjustment layer with Magic Bullet Looks Diffusion, some chromatic aberration to make it feel like an underwater lens, some lens distortion, and some renoiser, all set up to kind of make it feel like everything really fully belongs in the scene with all these things working to distort the footage all together and it makes it work.